Hey there folks, Sean here. I'm um, just going to serve as a, a quick uh, introduction to Container Station on the QNAP NAS and getting a node process running. So uh, if you want to, in this case, I'm trying to run a, a WebSocket server, uh, just a simple Echo uh, WebSocket server from this, this project here. Um, and uh, for future uh, reference, I am pretty much running this server broadcast code. So I'm just dropping this into index.js and putting it in my apps folder, which we'll reference quite shortly here. Um, <clears throat> initially, uh, we want to go to create, and from here you can pick a variety of images that are pre-configured to run a certain process, right? Obviously, we're looking for nodes, so I'm just going to search for that. And um, these initial uh, projects, that come, these images that run up, come up here are the predefined QNAP uh, images uh, which are probably downloaded by default. Um, I'm going to go to Docker Hub and and create one from the official Docker image collection here. We'll create and uh, I'm going to choose the latest because I already have that downloaded. It's node uh, 11 something at this point. Um, you can choose whichever uh, you need. It's also going to warn you that this is a third-party image that might not quite be completely compatible with, with QNAP. I've not had any problems. Um, I'm just going to name this WS Echo, and I'm not going to configure the command just yet because the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to map over the shared folder from the QNAP NAS. We can we can choose a path, right? I'm just going to kind of load up my apps here, which is where I'm keeping the apps that I want to have uh, on different processes here on the uh, on the, the container station, and I'm going to map one to one. Uh, my apps folder to apps in the virtual environment. Um, we're also going to go to network. Uh, I have network mode. I'm going to keep that as NAT. Um, keep in mind that this is sharing the port values that are already consumed from other processes running uh, for Apache, let's say, uh, port 80. We don't want to try to overlap those port numbers that are in use. We do want to, however, port forward from port 3000, which I'm configuring in my script uh, to, to use, right? We're gonna, uh, this WebSocket server is gonna be running on port 3000. Um, and I'm not gonna create this just yet. Let's go back up to, and um, we're gonna run the, the we're gonna, this is the command to run the application. So node apps, which is that uh, drive that we mapped over, the shared drive, apps echo, index.js, which was that, basically, this script here. Pretty simple. All right, I think we're ready to run this. I'm gonna go ahead and create. Uh, let's see, okay. That was quick, because I already had downloaded the image, otherwise it would go ahead and download that image for you. Here is our beautiful process running. Um, let's jump in here and uh, here you can see we have a console. I also have on Chrome just this simple, uh, what's it called, simple WebSocket client, right? I've already written this up here. Let's go ahead and try to connect to this. And we have, and um, our world is pretty appropriate. Uh, and basically the server bounces, that the process bounces the, the same message back. That's the, the overall function of an echo server. Um, so let's go back here. Oh, here, here you can see that, uh, you know, this is the console output from that node process. Um, it will keep a running log there. Uh, from the time that you can that you started this container, so if you uh, restart the container, the the console log will stay persistent. Um, another interesting thing that you can do here is uh, you can open up a terminal. We're going to just run bin bash, and this is uh, basically that process that's running. This is the the bare bones operating system for. Um, uh, what we just set up. And here you can see that is the apps um, directory that we uh, configured. And here's my echo. Um, and this is index and basically that, that project that I had set up. 
Um, I'm just going to run top real quick and show you that, you know, basically uh, for each container, you would want to run uh, one process per container. In this case, I'm running Node, I'm running a web software server on top of Node, and um, it, the only other processes running are basically the processes that we, we're, we're currently utilizing, right? I'm running top, and I'm running a bash shell, um, and I'm running node. It, once I close bash and I close top, node is going to be the only thing running in this process. So it's, it's really a uh, small footprint. Uh, we'll quit that, and just for fun, let's, um, I'm going to uh, see what... Uh, OS version we're running, um, and per this particular image is running uh, Debian uh, Debian nine. So uh, hopefully this is a, a good introduction to the QNAP NAS how to how to use this bad boy. I genuinely hope this is useful for someone out there.